This man's name is Gianni. He was the CDO of an Italian sports products company. Apart from being rich, Gianni was a player. He flirted with every girl he wanted and no girl could say no to a rich and dashing Gianni. His flirtatious words could win every girl's heart. His friends called him Gianni the girl's magnet. That day when Gianni was having lunch with his friend Dario. Dario told him to get a wife because he would be 50 in just a few months, but instead of taking it seriously, he nonchalantly shrugged it off. In the middle of the conversation, Gianni's brother called and said that their mother had just passed away. Instead of rushing to leave, Gianni stayed relaxed and continued eating his food, and only after he finished his business, which was until two hours later, then he go to the funeral. At the funeral, Gianni's brother gave him their mother's apartment key, and told him that their mother wanted Gianni to clean up her things after she passed away. At first, Gianni refused, but because he was forced, he finally complied. Since his father and mother had divorced, his relationship with his parents had fallen apart, and so he preferred to live alone and almost never heard of them again. After the funeral, Gianni went to his mother's apartment. There he sat in his mother's wheelchair while listening to the song his mother often played when he was little when suddenly, a beautiful woman came. She was his mother's neighbor. He was stunned by the girl's beauty. She is Alessia. She worked in his social home looking after people with disabilities. Hearing the sentence just now, Gianni acted and pretended to be a paralyzed guy so he could get close to her. He also told her that his mother had just passed away and he lived alone. Out of pity, Alessia told him that he could come to replace whenever he wanted. The next morning in the office, while he was having a meeting, one of the employees suggested that they make special sports shoes for athletes with disabilities. Hearing the idea, Gianni arrogantly said that the company wouldn't make products for disabled people. He was fuming and finally fired the employee. After the meeting, Gianni's assistant, Luciana, came to bring some used clothes that Gianni had ordered. He planned to get Alessia's sympathy by pretending to be paralyzed and poor. The next day, Gianni went back to his mother's apartment and invited Alessia for a coffee. But when he wanted to make the coffee, he couldn't find the sugar. After a bit of searching, he found it inside one of the shelves above the counter and stood to reach it, but his wheelchair bumped into the counter and got Alessia's attention. Gianni immediately pretended as if he was trying to reach for the shelf. Luckily, Alessia didn't get suspicious. She then helped him to get back to his. When they were chatting, Gianni told Alessia about his sad life, but when she heard it instead of pity, her response was just normal. Knowing his attempt to get her sympathy failed before she left, Gianni confessed that he wasn't actually poor. He said that he was the CEO of a famous sports company and had a big villa in the middle of the city. Luckily, his tactic worked. Alessia seemed interested and even invited Gianni to have lunch together at her grandmother's house on Sunday. Next Sunday, Gianni went to Alessia's grandmother's house. So he wouldn't get caught, he parked some distance away and used the wheelchair to reach the house. When he arrived, Alessia welcomed and introduced him to her family. Not long after that, Alessia's little sister, whose name is Chiara, came. Seeing Chiara's beautiful face, Gianni was amazed. But when he found out that she was disabled, his smile immediately disappeared. It turned out that the reason Alessia invited Gianni was to set up a match with her sister. After lunch, Gianni and Chiara chatted outside. Since Gianni didn't like disabled people from the start, he just listened to the story while answering questions briefly. From the chat, he found out that Chiara was a disabled tennis athlete and violinist. The next day, while hanging out with his friends, Gianni talked about the two beautiful girls who were neighbors in his mother's apartment. But his friends seemed more interested in Chiara than Alessia because they had never been in contact with a unique woman like her. They challenged Gianni to win Chiara's heart, and when he heard that, he accepted their challenge. On the other hand, when Alessia went to Gianni's mother's apartment to return the raincoat that he left behind yesterday, she met Gianni's brother. They then had a bit of conversation. Alessia said that she was amazed that even though Gianni was paralyzed, he was able to remain enthusiastic about living life independently. When Gianni's brother found out that his brother was pretending to be paralyzed, he knew his brother was onto something. The next day, Gianni called Chiara and asked her out. He was sure that she must have been attracted by his good looks. That day at the office, Luciana told him about a woman named Chiara who wanted to meet him. Gianni panicked and hurriedly sat down on the table. Chiara said she knew Gianni's office from Alessia. When Luciana left, Chiara apologized because she couldn't go on a date because there was a tennis match on that day, and to win Chiara's heart, Gianni offered to make his company the sponsor at the tennis competition. He also promised to come to the match to support her. Chiara looked happy to hear that. On Saturday, as promised, Gianni came to the match. When he witnessed Chiara's ability in tennis, he was so fascinated that he didn't realize he had actually fallen in love with her. After the match, Gianni asked Chiara to go for dinner together, but Chiara refused. Instead, she invited Gianni to eat with her other disabled friends. At the restaurant, Gianni, who was curious, asked a lot of things about their life, and because of that conversation, he kept thinking about it. He was afraid that he had also become paralyzed. 
The next afternoon, Luciana went to Chiara's house because Gianni told her to give Chiara flowers. During their conversation, Luciana was amazed. By Chiara, she really couldn't bear it if her boss played with women as kind as Chiara. So, upon returning to the office, Luciana tried to advise about Chiara, but Gianni instead told her not to interfere. A few days later, on the day of Chiara's violent performance outside the building, Gianni rented an electric wheelchair from a homeless man. And after that, entered the venue. The performance finally began. From the start, Gianni was fascinated by Chiara, he didn't realize he made a standing ovation. When they finally met after the event, Gianni asked Chiara to go on a romantic dinner at a luxurious restaurant. He kept praising Chiara's performance until he accidentally pressed a button on the wheelchair and hit the table next to them. Chiara couldn't help but laugh it off. While they were engrossed in their conversation, Gianni suddenly heard his late mother's favorite song. He then somehow started telling about his life story to Chiara despite never wanting to open up to other people. After dinner, Gianni took Chiara home. On the road, Chiara took off her shoes and said that when she didn't wear them, she felt free. Arriving at the hotel, in the front of the room before parting ways, Gianni brought his wheelchair closer and the two of them kissed. The next day, while running in the morning, despite having fallen in love with Chiara, Gianni still tried to flirt with other girls. In the afternoon at the restaurant, Gianni told Dario that he planned to take Chiara to a romantic dinner at his mansion tomorrow. He was sure that soon he would be able to win the bet, but as a friend, Dario told him to back down. From the stories he had heard from him so far, he was sure that Chiara was a good woman and not worth playing with, but again, Gianni remained nonchalant. The next night at the mansion, Gianni was stunned by Chiara's looks that night. He then took her around, but because he wasn't used to using a wheelchair, he kept bumping into something. At dinner, Chiara started talking about her past. The reason why she was paralyzed was thanks to a car accident. She then asked what caused Gianni to be paralyzed. Gianni, who wasn't ready to answer, said that he was paralyzed after falling from his pony. After chatting in a romantic moment, Gianni suddenly gave Chiara a surprise. The next day, while hanging out with his friends, Gianni gave them a photo of him and Chiara. All of his friends were amazed that Gianni actually won the bet. That night, Gianni smiled while kept thinking about Chiara. The next morning at the office, Gianni told Luciana to call back the employee who had once suggested making special sports shoes for disabled athletes. Later that day, while jogging, Gianni kept thinking about Chiara. He started to feel guilty that he had lied about his paralysis. So he called and asked to meet. Deep down, he was determined to be honest with her. But when they met later that afternoon, when he saw Chiara playing the violin, he was amazed. He had made up his mind to tell the truth. Just when he was about to speak, Chiara suddenly leaned against his chest. He suddenly backed down. The next night, Gianni asked Dario and Luciana to accompany him to meet Chiara. He asked for Dario's help to help him tell the truth, while Luciana helped him calm Chiara down as she cried. Later, while they were having dinner, Dario tried to open a conversation, but just as he was about to speak, Gianni accidentally spilled food on his clothes and asked Dario to accompany him to the toilet. In the toilet, Gianni said that he was too scared. It seemed like the moment wasn't right, so it was better to just postpone it. The next day, when Gianni was relaxing in the cafe, Alessia came and immediately slapped him, saying that she had heard the story from Gianni's brother. She didn't expect that all this time, Gianni had only been pretending to be paralyzed. She threatened to tell Chiara the truth if she didn't do so. Gianni tried to calm her down and apologize for lying. He promised to be honest with Chiara but had to find the right moment. Frustrated, Gianni went to see his father and then told him all his problems. He was confused. On one hand, he really wanted to be honest, but on the other hand, he was afraid of losing Chiara. His father then told a story when he was young. He was the same as Gianni, even backslash after getting married, he still loved to flirt with other girls. Until when he got divorced, he regretted having hurt the heart of a woman who truly loved him. So based on his experience, even though he will still be hurt, it's better for Chiara to find out from Gianni's mouth than to see the truth with her own eyes. Hearing the advice just now calmed him a bit. Meanwhile, Alessia accompanied Chiara shopping. She tried to tell Chiara that Gianni was a liar. She also said the whole truth, but unfortunately, Chiara didn't believe it. She was sure that Gianni wouldn't lie to her. The next day, Gianni, Chiara, Luciana, and Dario went on a tour of a historical church. It was Gianni's attempt to tell the truth. He was still looking for the right moment, but while he was contemplating, he saw that Chiara was almost hit by a truck and immediately ran to save her. That was when Chiara found out that she had been lied to. Since that time, the relationship between them fell apart. That night, Gianni continued to reflect on all his mistakes. So the next morning, before leaving for the office, he took the time to visit his mother's grave. At that moment, he regretted that he had never visited her while she was still alive and he really wanted to hug his mother if he could turn back the time. In the office, when Gianni was giving a presentation and leading a meeting, he saw that the employee he had fired had returned to work. 
In the middle of the meeting, Janney asked the employee to come forward to take his place. When the employee changed the slide on the screen, everyone was shocked. It turned out that Janney was planning to make shoes for disabled athletes. After that, he immediately left from there. At Chiara's grandmother's house, Janney apologized and tried to explain the situation. Indeed, had lied about his paralysis. But his feelings for Chiara were sincere. He really loved her and wanted to fix his mistakes. Janney's sincerity touched her. She then told him that Chiara had just left by bus to go to the tennis match. Janney rushed to catch her, and after catching up and stopping the bus, Janney went straight to Chiara. Unfortunately, her heart was still hurt, and he didn't want to see him. Days passed. One morning while jogging, Janney vented all his feelings by sprinting as fast as he could until he ran out of breath and almost fainted. When he was trying to catch his breath, Chiara suddenly showed up in front of him. While smiling, she reached out her hand and offered to help him. She then asked Janney to sit on her lap and left from there together. A few days later, Janney was seen celebrating his 50th birthday with friends and Chiara's family. When everyone was dancing, Janney carried Chiara and joined in dancing too.